Okay, um, hi guys, I'm going to film a video again today. I know I haven't done one in ages, and I'm not filming on my proper camera, my HD camera. That is only because I'm using, I'm saving the battery life for um, a photo shoot thing that I've got next week. I've been booked in for by my boyfriend's family, so that's, that, that's why. Okay, so I'm going to start off with two new things that I got myself. Uh, one thing I got because I was running low, and because basically... This product, I don't think I did this, I don't think I've hauled this yet, but basically it's a sheer loose powder by W7. I'm still trying to get used to this camera. Uh, this is in the colour Ivory. Um, ivory. It's basically just too orange for me. I could basically wear that as a foundation itself, like a powder foundation, when I'm a bit more tanned, because at the moment I think I've gone down to fair. But that is only because I use... Where is it? I can't find it. Sorry guys, I'm having to pop in and out the frame. Okay, so this is basically what I use. This is why I think I've gone to fair because it basically, this evens out your skin tone. Now obviously I use this all over my face because I do get blemishes all over my face. As you can see, I have some here. Um, I have a little bit here, some on my chin and then some on my forehead as well. And I do get some down by my nose, just sort of depends. At the moment, though, it's being controlled by the pill that I'm on at the moment, so it's sort of, you know, it's being controlled. But anyway, back to the haul, because uh, I don't want this to be an uber long video. Um, this is the first thing that I got. This is the Stay Matte uh, Primer by Rimmel London. Uh, it basically just comes in a. Ooh, my hair's all over my hand now. <laughs> this basically just comes in a squirty uh, tube. It's basically a white product, as you can see. I will just put a bit on my hand. It just basically is a white product. Um, it's not like oily or anything like that. Like when you go and rub it, I don't. I don't find it to be oily. I find it just to be smooth. And then actually, once you let it sit into your skin, it does actually turn matte. Like you know, I still have to follow up with the powder though, because I like to make sure. Because I can get really, in, especially in this heat now. Um, it's like 27 degrees here in the UK. Um, I have to use another powder. This is only because obviously... Oh, it's glaring. This is only because I have to um, stop it from... break, uh, Not breaking out. Going really oily. Because I do go really oily, especially in the heat. So anyway, that's that. It's just a translucent powder. Um, obviously, translucent on your skin. You can't really see it. So anyway, um, that's that. So I got those two uh, because they are basically must-haves in my collection. Um, moving on to my lipstick collection because that is the whole main point of this video. I am going to be doing my makeup bit by bit. I'm not going to be doing it all in one massive go because I've got tons of it. Um, and I do plan to get more for my birthday because makeup is just something I love doing. I know I don't do a lot of tutorials but that's because I don't get requested to do it. But I think from now on I'm just going to start doing it but hopefully if I can get a new camera for my birthday um, because obviously the one that I've got it's pretty hard to film on because I don't know if I'm in the frame um, things like that so I want to get one where I can actually flip the screen around to see the frame okay so moving on to my lipsticks I'm going to do my first two that I've got these are the collection 2000s um, they are both reds as you can tell one is called Oops. one second guys I dropped a lipstick. Um, I don't think it's my broken one, but I don't know where that's gone. It's gone into the lid, I think. But yeah, that's basically a broken one. I'll explain in a bit why that's broken. Okay, so basically I've got one in Silent Movie. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because this isn't obviously my HD camera. It's just a my iPad. I'm trying to get. I don't think it's going to focus for you. But basically, this is a silent movie. Um, and it's a pretty sort of um, reddish colour. It's basically red, but it's got blue undertone, blue and purple undertones to it. Um, I won't swatch all of these, because otherwise the video is going to be uber long. Um, I mean, it's already like four minutes long. Um, because that's from me talking and rabbiting on, as I usually do in videos. Uh, then this is Valentine. This is more of a Marilyn Monroe kind of red, if you want. Like a true, true bright red. Fire engine red, if you will. Um, so that's that one. I was on a really, really big red hit. I still am, but I don't like to wear it as much as I used to. I'm not that brave. 
um, at the moment. So I'm sort of trying to yeah, back away from it a little bit. Um, then I have Vault, which I think all of you guys have seen before in some of my old, old, old videos that I used to film on this baby, but obviously it was all blurry. I don't know why. Um, so I think I need to auto fix it. But basically, this is Vault. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous full colour. Um, which actually I do tend to lean towards when it gets to like the colder weather um, like autumn, then when the snow comes, if we get snow here in England um, okay I then have Dusky Rose which is 830 by Max Factor I believe and it's basically just a pretty dusky pink, warm tone pink it's gorgeous the only thing that I have about this lipstick is if you've got lines on your lips, I would suggest wearing like a foundation or concealer or something underneath it just so it doesn't sink into the lines because it has a tendency to do that when you wear it bare. Okay, uh, this is Crushed Rose by Body Care. This is a collection that we have over here, well, a store that we have over here that is basically in the UK. I don't think you can get it in America or anywhere else. I have to look it up. Um, but basically, yeah, this is Crushed Rose. It's basically a warm reddish brown that's how I can describe it it's basically a warm reddish brown with a little little bit of orange in it running through it so it looks a bit orange when you swatch it okay I then have six of the um, MUA's uh, their black collection so their normal, their, their normal collection the first line they had um, put these in my lap so the first one that I have is shade 5. I know that some people don't like this because of the glitter that runs in it. Which, okay, there is a lot of glitter in it. You can feel it on your lips when you put it on. But I don't mind that. I mean, I can wear it. It's wearable. I think if you're a person that doesn't like glitter, then yeah, I can understand you're getting this. But if you don't mind glitter, then it's a gorgeous colour to wear. It's sort of that bright baby doll pink. Um, I then have Bear by MUA. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Come on, mate. There you go. And that's basically bare. It's a gorgeous brownish. It's not the kind of bare that's going to, well, the nude that's going to basically wash your face out. It's not like that. Nope. Um, I then have Nectar, um, which to be honest I don't know I haven't had time to wear this I just it's not really my thing at the moment but I want to start trying to wear these kind of colours they are bold and quite daring I mean I've worn like one one of the colours I've got by that's a matte version of these is very daring I still wear it so that's Nectar Nectar's more of a reddish orange I think it's like a reddish coral um, I then have shade 11 which is I think some people don't know really how to describe this colour, but I'd say it's like a reddish brown, almost a mauve, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, it's it's a pretty colour. I mean, I've got the perfect lip gloss that will go over this, and it's by Rimmel London. It's Snog. They're, uh, I can't remember the name of the actual line it's from. But yeah, that's perfect over that if you just want a little bit of more of a glossier finish. I know they have a glossy finish themselves, but that you know, can tend to wear off and so you're still left with a bit of colour but yeah, that's what I find anyway. Um, I then have shade 11, no not shade 11, shade 2. This is basically a step down from Vault. Um, it's basically a purple still but it's not as dark as Vault. So obviously if you guys don't like wearing the really dark purples you can always wear that. It, wo it won't, you know, hinder or anything. Um, I then have sh this is juicy, which actually unfortunately the lid cracked. Uh, where is it? There, the lid cracked because it was in my clutch and it basically fell. Um, and yeah, so it broke. But that's basically juicy. It's gorgeous. I love it. Then I have four. I do actually have five of these. Um, the other ones in my school bag. I think my college bag. So basically this is the five that I actually do, or the four that I do have on me in my makeup kit. Uh, so the first colour that I have, of course, is Scarlet Siren, um, which is a pretty, pretty, pretty red. Um, doesn't come off as dark as it actually is. It's more of a very uh, pinkish colour, I could almost guess you could say, but it's, it's pretty. 
I might have to do this in two parts guys because it's actually going to be very very long otherwise and I don't think I'm going to be able to upload it in the time I'm allowed, I'm only allowed 15 minutes now so uh, yeah I then have Peachy Keen Peachy Keen and it looks like so it's gorgeous, I love the colour absolutely amazing Sorry if the lighting changes sometimes guys, I do have my fan on but then I think also it's just getting darker and darker outside and I'm only basically playing with this lighting here, I've got a light here and then I've got basically a light, my natural light up here. So I'm basically playing with two lights. Um, I then have Wild Berry, I don't think you'll be able to see that, actually you are, Wild Berry. This again doesn't come up as pigmented as, as it actually is, um, it does get muted down a bit but I do know the per the perfect... Uh, lip lacquer that can go under this um, so yeah that's that one uh, the last one before I put this into another part is lilac bell now this is the colour that I said that I can this is very very daring it's more it's not more daring than nectar or juicy but um, uh, da, 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 da. sorry guys I got distracted my phone went off it's my driving instructor basically yeah so this is a very very bright purple um, totally wearable um, again I guess you could say if you're not very into the bright bright purples though I wouldn't but I find it wearable I don't use it I don't like always like make it opaque because it can be very very out there but I do like to just sort of if I want a hint of colour on my lips I pop this on so anyway that is the that part of my collection I do have more that I'm going to move on to I'm hopefully going to try and film some more uh, makeup look, not makeup looks. Some more videos tonight before I go to bed, uh, and then I will film some tutorials tomorrow because it looks like I'm free. So, bye guys.